Hi fellow foodies! So today we're at Scott Square and I pass by this place all the time, Oatberry Cafe, uh, and I always wondered what do they sell? So I came and had a close up look. They sell like acai bowls, granola, and if you have a look here, they also sell their granola online. So you can actually purchase it as well. And look, it's a very cute little cozy cafe and it's pretty packed too. So actually, um, you know, how many times do you walk past a cafe or a restaurant but have no idea what do they do or the story behind what they do? So I thought I'd find out and go and interview the owner, Darren. So follow me, let's go ask Darren. So I'm having some acai bowls with Darren, the owner of this place. And Darren, I was just wondering if you can tell me a bit, you know, about your business. Why did you start it? The story behind it. Um, so it started because I had allergies. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gluten and soy intolerant. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, so actually I didn't tell you before, but in 2018 I had this thing called necrotic ascites. Yeah. Uh, so um, it started because I had allergies and it I have blisters on my, oh, no. on my elbows uh, when I take gluten yeah. and one time it got so bad that because I scratched it, it got inflamed. Yeah. So it becomes septic situs, oh. septicitis yeah. uh, and then it became necrotizing fasciitis. So I had to admit myself into ICU for about three weeks and then a deep brightman for like four times. Wow. So yeah, I nearly lost my arm or I nearly lost my life at that point of time. Uh, so that was like a pivotal moment that I decided, you know, I need to really be uh, serious about this food thing that I'm doing. Mm. Uh, and that's when I started doing more. We opened this cafe uh, in Scott Square to be like a uh, so-called like a flagship store mm. because it's more visible. Uh, and we really have this mission to serve uh, people with allergies. Yeah. Well, you're really well changing people's lives with this. I, hope I so. think, yeah, with people with allergies like you, right, they get to enjoy this food without having to worry about what's going to happen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, um, with our customers are quite loyal. Yeah. Uh, um, sometimes they tell me, like, you know, they bring their children and they say, oh, wow, well, my son has never had a waffle before because he yeah. can't have a, a waffle made of gluten uh, or flour or eggs. Uh, so, well, that to me that is something that you know I need to provide for them. Yeah. When when when, when they talk about it, they, they, my customers are very emotional about. Yeah. These things. Well, that's really cool. So actually, you know, it's really changed Darren's life, and it's really changed now his customers' lives as well. So anyone with allergies out there, this is the perfect place for you guys to come and check out. So I was just having a look at these granola packs. So this is what they sell online, right? Apparently it is gluten-free, dairy-free, egg-free, soy-free, peanut-free, and vegan, and it has no artificial sugar, and it's all natural. So what a great way to start your day. And where can we get this, Darren, online? Yeah, online, uh, yeah. Lazada, Shopee, as well as our own online store, oldberry.com. Oh, awesome. So I, I think you said you started with this, right, before you opened yeah. this cafe? Yeah, so um, we started making granola at yeah. home in 2015 or 16. Uh, and then we started working with Singapore Polytechnic. Yeah. Um, that's a division called FIC, uh, where it's a commercial unit who helps SMEs like us uh, formulate uh, food. So we gave them the brief of formulating this without any of these uh, allergens as well as no wheat, no egg, no soy, no, yeah. no nothing inside actually. Yeah. Um, but still needs to taste good. Yeah. And we gave them the brief of having uh, the sugar content really, really low mm -hmm. um, um, for, for, for meeting my needs basically. Um, and then when I left my job, uh, my corporate job, um, I wanted to um, start something. Um, so we started selling this uh, commercially. And and uh, started selling it online first of all. Yeah. But from there, uh, it evolved into uh, an acai bar and then a food pledge cafe. And then now we are in Scots here. Yeah. Wow. So I don't see myself as a F&B professional or F&B entrepreneur. 
um, I see this as a mission business to provide um, these um, food options um, for people really in need. Uh, so it's essentially a wellness business for me. Yeah, I think uh, as a medical professional, I'm very passionate about you know health, and this is just another way you know to introduce health into your life, eating healthy as well. So thanks for sharing your story, Darren. And why don't we just give it a taste now? So look at all the fresh fruit on top for one. And then let's try to get some of that granola. Wow, all you acai fans out there. Wow. It tastes really healthy, but really tasty as well. With the granola bits on top, it adds that extra crunch to the acai. Such a great combo. And with all the fresh fruits as well, you guys are gonna love it. So it's so tasty, Dan. What do you put in this? Um, the base is acai, um, and then uh, of course all the fruits, um, chia seed pudding, um, and macadamia butter for this one. Mm. And we've got a choice of macadamia butter, almond butter, pecan butter, chocolate hazelnut butter, uh, maple syrup, and uh, gula malaka if you like. And you um, make all of this in-house? Yeah, all the butters are made in-house. Love it! So as you guys know, I'm always playing golf these days. That's why I'm in golf gear, because I'm about to go for a game. And they have these awesome protein balls, which is really good for golfers or any, you know, athletes. Perfect for taking on to the game to get some extra energy. I'm going to take these to go. Check it out, Scott Square.